Welcome, I'm David Geiger. A major meat packer is leaving the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. JBS is one of four packers representing 80% of U.S. beef processing and has left the NCBA as the group takes a closer look at market consolidation. There are critiques that cattle prices are staying stagnant while packer profit margins are reaching records. NCBA, along with other farm groups, met to talk livestock market concerns as lawmakers request more investigations by the Department of Justice. JBS is no longer a member, but company officials say they expect to remain involved. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley tweeted out JBS leaving is good because NCBA should represent cattle producers, not big packers. The U.S. is starting a dispute panel on dairy trade with Canada. Under the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement under dairy trade, Trade Representative Catherine Tai says the U.S. requested and established a panel to review measures adopted by Canada that, quote, undermine the ability of American dairy exports to sell a wide range of products to Canadian consumers. This is namely geared towards dairy tariff rate quotas for Canadian processors. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack says the action lets trading partners know they have to play by the rules. A federal court struck down a new hog inspection system. In the past year, the U.S. Department of Agriculture started a new swine inspection system intended to allow faster harvest facility line speeds. This was criticized by worker advocacy groups who claimed it was dangerous to employees. The National Pork Producers Council opposed the ruling, saying it will create a 2.5% loss in pork packing plant capacity nationwide, claiming that will reduce income by $80 million for small U.S. hog farmers. And grains up a bit. Our market analyst, Jamie Kwaki has the details. Here starting off uh, today in the grain sector, we had a lot of spillover uh, on the uh, red side of the ledger from yesterday's sell-off and into the overnight and again here this morning. But the last hour or two, kind of here mid-morning, we've rebounded and actually turned higher in both corn and in beans. But the key longer term is still going to be acres. I mean, are we going to end up at 96, 97 or not? And, Consequently, we won't need trend line yields to you know, keep a very comfortable carry out to around $2 billion or not, but uh, there's still a lot of ifs. Which of the beans haven't really had a whole lot of big, big sales being reported at all in beans. Uh, the Argentina crop looks to be getting smaller and smaller as they finish off their harvest. But uh, right now, we're kind of just in a kind of a choppy, I think, more of a range-bound type trade right now. Pretty disappointing trade today in the live cattle. We had sharply higher boxes again yesterday. Uh, looks like we're going to have steady cash again, 118 to 120. And it looks like we're just kind of stuck in here, you know, right now, just going sideways and really doing nothing as packers are bought up, making, you know, record profit margins. Over the hogs, uh, we're anywhere from 15 to you know 90 lower times here today. A lot of spread action, bear spreads uh, early on this morning being worked. Cutouts were on fire yesterday, and look for those to remain very very strong. Short term, still bullish this market. You know, looking for the uh, summer contracts to you know correct up near 120. Yet. That's all I have for the anchor business report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time.